Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani, your host and teacher, and I am reviewing and enjoying some products from Lucent Drums. This is a cajon tab, and this is the large cajon tab. I did a, another video on the small one, which is this one. This one's a little bit bigger, and it's also similar in size to ugh, the big daddy, the uh, bongo cajon. And I did a video on that, so watch that if you're interested in hearing either of the bongo or the small one. This is the big cajon tab, and uh, I mean, I'm really enjoying these. The folks at Loosen Drums, uh, Carson and Ed sent me some samples to try out, and so I'm t testing them out, giving you a sample. This one sounds like this. Uh, with the side hole closed, and that's another feature of these, is you've got a movable uh, resonation hole, you know, cover, and it's just very easy to flip that back and forth. So here's what it sounds like open. Now, if you're listening on uh, tiny, you know, computer speakers or your smartphone, you're probably not going to hear the low notes. So if you really want to hear these well, use some headphones or listen on, you know, a good home uh, audio system. But what happens when I open this is there's a lot of low frequencies that resonate. So even though this is a small instrument, relatively small, um, you still get a full a fullness that comes with it. And even with the snare thing on, I'll show you the bottom of this. This is the bottom of the snare. It's very simple. It's just got some Velcro and tape, holds the snare in place. Um, these are attached to the side with some end pins, like a guitar strap. And you can uh, take it off completely. You can flip it to the front if you don't want it on, but it just flips over. All right, that's with the hole open, and here's what it sounds like with the hole closed. So more like a tighter snare drum, and that makes it really versatile. I really like this for different kinds of gigs, right? So if you're playing, let's say, uh, more of a drum set, if you want more of a drum set feel, you could use this in conjunction with another cajon or some other kind of drum and get a real, you know, legit snare sound, which I like. Um, and I like the fact that you can just move it quickly, you know, back and forth and get that thing to engage or disengage. Um, one of the other things I want to point out about these drums is they're just made with beautiful materials. This is some beautiful mahogany, and I don't know if this light does it justice, but as I sit here and I move this around, you know, I get that, that sheen that kind of changes in the light. So I think in sunlight, they'd even be more beautiful. But these are quality American-made instruments. The construction is awesome, and I mentioned this on the other videos, but uh, if you're only watching this one, I want to show you the... Um, what is this? The, uh, I don't know the technical woodworking term. The corner, <laughs> the binding, the, uh, there's a word for that. I forgot right what it is right at the moment. But these things are really built to last, just really nice construction. So um, that's a big plus. Uh, the top corners are a little sharp for my taste. I'd like these to be rounded a little. Um, but it gives you, you get a strap with it and you can wear it like I am, either seated or you can lengthen the strap, wear it around your neck and kind of play standing up and hang out, walk around. So it's a very jam friendly instrument. It's a great instrument for practicing or playing indoors or, you know, playing in a small circle or accompanying a guitar player or somebody, you know, a few instruments um, or doing whatever you want. You can join in any jam with these and they're super portable and durable and they always pretty much sound the same, right? So you don't have to tune it, don't have to worry about that. So I, I applaud the people at Loose Sun Drums for making some really nice quality instruments. I want to thank them for uh, sending me a few samples to try out. So if you haven't watched the other videos, the small cajon tab and the bongo cajon tab, um, go watch those. I'm going to play a little bit more, but I want to say thanks for joining me at World Drum Club. And as always, if you like this content, give it a thumbs up. That helps a lot. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And subscribe as a patron where you can get more than just what's here on YouTube uh, over at patreon.com slash Kalani. All right. 
Here we go, a little bit more with the uh, large cajon tab. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you in a future video.